are the tweets working, Dana? Are the memes working? Like no. John Oliver, Samantha B. I thought that would be the end of it. The Drumpf episode of John Oliver. I thought that's it. You know, it's just, and, and all the things he did himself, let alone having the comedians point it out. Kick and scream as much as possible. Don't make it easy. Yeah, and your tweets are killer. And it's fun. It's fun. I got a few, ah! your, I got a few of your tweets here. and they. Oh, can I show you? And that's my, that's my Twitter secret, by the way. Just so we're clear, starving Syrian children can't come in because we have to protect the public, but paranoid schizophrenics can buy semi-automatic weapons again. Got it. All good. Right. The response to that was, great, continue stigmatizing paranoid schizophrenics. Like, you yeah. can't, you know, you, you can't I know. Do. I was like, why? Well, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> they shouldn't buy guns. Yeah. They shouldn't be allowed to buy guns. Yeah. And then another what are they going to do, come after me? They'll get distracted so quickly. <laughs> Look, I'm looking back like, oh, this is more of me. Yeah. This is Some great. think the refugees want to come here, stockpile up, and start killing innocent people. Others fear they won't fit in so easily. Hmm? I mean, See what I did there? See is... what I did there? By the way, I grew up with a rifle cabinet in my bedroom. Like, I am very familiar with guns. I come from a big uh, uh, family in New England, and uh, everybody hunts but me. And, um, and the fact that I didn't want to go hunting and I didn't play sports, my father thought I was gay. Like, literally, like, literally, like, was waiting for the other, like, uh, to the point that, like, um, like, when I moved, this is a true story, when I moved to San Francisco in 19, you know, that was the other, I moved to San Francisco, and I was like, <laughs> I moved to San Francisco. Checking the dots like, for him. Yeah, but, but I'd had, like, five girlfriends by that time, and I was like, I was moved to San Francisco, and he's like, well, if you're thinking of coming home queer, don't come home. I'm like, have we met? It's about 21, you know, and I just thought I gave a lot of thought to going out there and just becoming really queer, just to just go full bear, just to get them, just to just to piss them off, just like Folsom Street, just blow five, to, ah, fuck you, dad. <laughs> but then you know you're you know you're out behind a gub blowing like six dudes, ah, fuck you, dad. Like, hey, I heard your dad died, and then you get to talk to him in heaven. I'm sorry, this is just to get you angry. Sorry, guys, I'm talking to my dad. <laughs> um, but your commentary on guns is, is some of the best. And, all, and then there, i got a few more here. Okay. Let's give the new president the respect he deserves. Right. On Inauguration Day. That's the one that tore it for me. Yeah. It's like, I, if you go past this, then I can't really... Like, they're both bad. No. 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 Yeah. And that's just, it's cognitive dissonance. You just don't see it. You, they, they can't see it. So, and they don't, they choose not to see it. They, and, and the great... The default that you'll get is I always show the clip of him saying he'd like to fuck his daughter if she wasn't his daughter. Yeah. But it's good that he has a boundary. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you know, uh, but, uh, um, and when I send that clip to people and I go, like, what does he really mean here? Could you explain? Oh, personal insults. Is that what you're going to do now? Personal insults because you're out of an argument? Yes, I am. I'm going to play as dirty as you. But, uh, um, but so there was a big comment on my Twitter feed that said, move! And it was, I clicked on it, and it was my brother. <laughs> and then I just said, what, and be victimized by our foreign policy? Like, yeah. You know, and, yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> this is how smart my, this is how, this is how smart my, my brother, by the way, a police officer, and the reason I don't respect police officers, um, <laughs> one of the, one of the dumbest mammals, there was a guy named Bob, there was a guy named Bob Euchre. Bob Euchre, you must know Bob Euchre. Tell, them, tell the people who Bob Euchre is. They're a bunch of kids. They don't know. Yeah. Sports, the sports catcher. Former, yeah, baseball, yeah, former baseball. catcher. Baseball player, catcher, and uh, like the losingest, uh, like had the lowest batting yeah. average. Like a, a famously terrible baseball player. But, Major League. The movie Major League. He's the announcer. Right. And, he's a, and he was a brilliant raconteur. And he used to go on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson all the time. When, when The Tonight Show was, uh, was with Johnny Carson. And um, he wrote a book called Catcher in the Rye. W R Y, clever, clever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when Mark David Chapman shot John Lennon, uh, it was reported that when they arrested him, he was calmly standing there reading The Catcher in the Rye. So my brother, the police officer who can detain you, uh, <laughs> bought Bob Euchre's Catcher in the Rye, read it, could not find the connection. <laughs> and I, at the time, 1980. I was, oh, shit. I was 15, and he was out of high school. He was, he was in his mid 20s, and I was 15, and I had to explain to him, "There's another catcher in the rock." Yeah, 
<laughs> so in his world, Bob yeah. Euchre shines brighter than J.D. Sound. Yeah, I get that.